All right, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. Today we got a really cool video for you. We're gonna give you guys some tips on how to keep your elbow in. It's one of the biggest secrets to try to get that nice release right up the back. Stay tuned. All right, Brad, today we're talking about, you know, you'll hear people say, tuck the elbow, keep the hand on the inside. Why is it important to focus on that? Well, I mean, it, the, the direction of where your arm is and the direction of the swing, you know, that's going to determine how the ball rolls, really. So it, the ball motion that is created, you know, comes from your positioning of your body and the positioning of your hand. So being able, for one, to change the placement of the hand uh, is important, especially at the higher levels. But for two, if you're someone out there that uh, your hand gets around the ball so naturally, your elbow gets around the ball, we have seen some really great players have that kind of role, but it is limiting in a lot of ways. And when we look at the best players in the world nowadays, they're all coming from an inside portion of the bowling ball, even the guys that hook the ball a lot, the guys that uh, play straight a lot with lower revs, it doesn't matter. They seem to get a, a place of comfort and a place of consistency with, uh, from all angles with the elbow in. So it is really important. Yeah, we, we preach versatility. If your elbow is really flaring out, it's really hard to stay versatile with that hand because a lot of times you're kind of locked into keeping your hand on the outside and creating a lot of rotation. And the things we're gonna discuss in this video are feels, right? Now, it, when we discuss how to change the position of your hand in the swing or the, the, the direction of the swing, in order to change those, you're gonna to have to change your feel. Like the feel of it as you're changing it is not going to feel comfortable and it's probably going to be rather unorthodox. For example, if you have a really figure eight swing that tucks behind your back, in order to get that straight, it's going to have to feel at some point like it's coming from the right which would technically be straight. That's what we call like overemphasizing. That's a feel. The things we're gonna talk about in this video are tips for feels and the things that we feel when we're going through those changes. The feel and what's actually happening are two different things. I mean, we need to clarify that. When we discuss the feel of things, it's just the feel. It is not where the ball is actually going to be, or it's not where the wrist or the hand are actually going to be. Yeah, we're trying to connect the mind to the body, yes, right? Because when you're, when, especially when you're trying new stuff out, you have, for us in, in coaching and when we are being coached, it's important to point out little things on your body that you can kind of think about and go, okay, you know, that way you can connect a new, like, neuro link to try to do something because we're your body's just so used to doing the same thing over that we got to try to trick it and one way to do that is to relate the concept to parts of the body so first tip we're going to work on today is brad let's take your ball thanks buddy yeah um first tip we're going to do is focus in on keeping the forearm split through the center of the ball when brad goes to push away we want that forearm to split the ball just like this. We don't want that forearm when he brings it out to be on the outside. And then rarely, but we will see it, we don't want you to be super on the inside here, but that's almost so there's no, yeah, there, yeah, there's no reason for it. No, we want to keep that hand directly behind the ball, keep that control, and keep that forearm split. So when you're at home and you're watching your own videos or you're getting some of the coach, when you're taking that ball and pushing it away, Check and see, is that forearm split here or is that, is that forearm getting kicked out to the side? Because if we start like this, a lot of times it's hard to bring that forearm all the way on the inside. All right, Brad, so let's throw a shot here. All right. And so and I, this is something that I feel like I need to work on, so I'm kind of accepting a student role right here. The, the tips that we give, I'm going to actually try to apply. And I know they're going to be tough because this is probably something I need to work on. So the, the feel is... If, if your hand slips around it normally, the feel you're gonna have to have is, it's obviously the elbow is going to be more on the inside, but when you take the ball through the push away, just make sure it stays there. It doesn't uh, bounce out. So I'm gonna focus on simply just uh, keeping the elbow in and keeping my forearm to split the center of the ball. 
through the whole time. And immediately, I felt that my elbow was more connected to my body, like the, 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 my abdomen area. And then when I went through the shot, uh, I just tried to kind of keep it there. And uh, it did feel a little weird. Yeah, you're already starting it in a good position, right? A lot of times, you know, get, we want to make it as easy on us to keep that elbow in and work the inside of the ball as possible. But if we're starting in a bad position, um, then that's going to make it really difficult throughout the swing to get that elbow back in the right place. And now something you just said, I think really goes to our second point, is keeping the elbow connected to the body. We don't want the elbow flaring out. And one way to do this, and this is our second tip, is when you are bringing this whole swing motion here, we want you to feel like this elbow stays under the armpit. So we don't want that elbow flaring way out here and we don't want it coming way back here. This is just gonna help something with like swing alignment. But we want that elbow to stay connected under that armpit the in entire time of the swing. And it can almost feel when you take it back and you keep your elbow closer to your body that like the ball's like almost out this way. But it's not. The ball's still on the exact same path it was. Your elbow's just in a little bit of a different place. Yes. So that's where the oddness of the feeling comes yeah, and, from. And one other thing here. We also, when we talk about the elbow being under the armpit, we, in our push away, we don't want the elbow getting way out here. We don't want the push away. We want that elbow to really stay connected to the body the entire time. So when you're pushing the ball away, you good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you're pushing the ball away, don't feel like it's coming way out here. It's just a drop. And you can see how that elbow stays under his arm. And I right. suppose we've seen, we've seen the drill in a lot of different sports, in bowling, in golf, in tennis. We've seen all those drills of people put, they put a towel. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then they just try and stay connected. And the reason for that is just control. When things are closer to you, it's easier to control them when they get out in front, behind, whatever. Uh, there's just a lot more moving parts and it's harder to control. So this time we, th we, we thought about keeping the forearm split 50-50 uh, in the ball. This time I'm going to think about a, a towel actually kind of being connected. And, and we're just going to see what happens in my feel, what happens in my angle. And uh, I guess see if I can even throw a pretty good shot. All right. so. Now the, the ball reaction you're seeing, this is a really slick oil pattern. Um, but immediately, now I've done this a lot in my life, so changing these things are relatively, uh, they come second hand. But immediately I feel that everything is just tighter. It's more in sync and I can get to the line at a, a better pace. Like I feel more comfortable being aggressive because I feel like there's way less moving parts and all my momentum going into the slide is connected. It's not, the swing's not bouncing around or doing anything unordinary, which allows me to feel more aggressive. I don't know if that makes much sense, but yeah, no, that's just what I felt on that shot. To just simply go to someone and say, oh, you're not, you know, a lot of times you're here, you're not working the inside part of the ball. You need to get more on the inside. Okay, well, if you're not doing the right steps to get your body to allow you to get to the inside part of the ball, you're never gonna get there. Yeah. So when you do get there, and these are why all these tips are, you know, you may have your forearm split, but your elbow gets really disconnected. So one of these tips should really work well for you. But if we start working the inside of the ball, like you just said, it's gonna allow you to get to a point where you feel like you can be aggressive and just come right through the bowling ball. Or if you wanna, you know, if, we, if we're working the inside of the ball, now I can go up the back of it if I want to, I can let my hand come around, but if our elbow kicks out and we don't work the inside of the ball, then I can't get off the back of it. I'm trapped here. I'm going to end up spinning it. And that's what we see a lot of amateur players go through. Yeah, and we all, we're all in the game of trying to get better, to get more power, to get more off hits, to feel like we can be aggressive and we have control. I remember seeing so many times, like, how can they throw it so hard and still get the ball to hook a lot? You know, well, when you get everything in a good position when the momentum of your your uh, approach is good when the timing's good when the positioning of your arms and your legs and your body are good when everything's good 
you'll be surprised at how easy the game can feel about how aggressive you could be, about the off hits, the wow, I'm shooting 800. You know, you'll be surprised at how easy the game can feel when you get everything in the right position. It's rare to get everything in the right position when your elbow's out like this. It's just unnatural. Oftentimes it's caused by, you know, bad angles, bad thought of what we need to do, how to hook the ball. We can do everything from the inside and we have more control, so. So after working through those first two tips, the last tip is going to be a feel for on the way down. So let's actually, this can be too heavy to throw. So let's put this down for a second. So we're gonna use Brad again as our dummy. So Brad, I want you to face that way. Let's get up here so we're in the camera. And then I want you to get like the ball is at the apex of the swing. So I want it to be up. So when this ball is at the very top, we want to create a motion to where, and if you watch this very similar in all professional high level players, is we want that ball, when it's at its apex, let's say this is Brad's apex of the swing, we want this ball to tuck in, and you'll watch every player, they create this tucking in motion, they get that ball right under their head. We don't want that swing to, on the way down, bump out, and we'll see this a lot when people get their ball too far away from their ankle. We also don't want it to come necessarily straight down. Now that's not terrible, but in order to create a lot of power and really get on the inside of the ball and keep it close to your ankle, when the ball is up at its apex, we want that ball to tuck in on the swing. So in order to do this, the drill we're gonna do now is that when you get to the top of the swing, just like this, we want you to feel like you're gonna hit your right knee with the bowling ball on the way down. Now, theoretically, your knee should get out of the way, and it will, because your body's not gonna be like, all right, I'm not gonna hit that knee, but we want you to feel like it, because everything's lined up here. We want you to feel like on the way down, you're gonna hit that right knee, and that's gonna be conducive to trying to get that tucking motion at the bottom. And it, <clears throat> it might seem counterintuitive to think that, oh, I'm playing left, I'm hooking the ball a lot, that <clears throat> it's gonna allow me to hook the ball better if I get my elbow inside that can seem odd because it could feel like it's easy for the ball to go to the right right like your elbow is not blocking the ball from going to the right no longer it's kind of open free willy like the ball can go to the right the thing is is i can't imagine hooking the ball from an outside elbow perspective it just gives me yeah, it, nice. I, I just i can't imagine how you would create the right ball motion in order to be able to do that. <clears throat> Same with playing straight. So it doesn't matter where you're playing on the lane, getting your elbow from the inside part at the release from all three of those steps, from the push away to the body on the way down or on the way up and then the, bot or the back of the leg on the way down. That whole process, you can play any angle at the highest form if you can get that connected to your body. Um, there's virtually no reason to have anything bouncing out, especially if you're angled this way, a bounce out would just cause a, an angle that you're not meant, you're not trying to use. So every form of bowling can happen from this and plus you add more control. So we're gonna try the third thing. Yeah, let's try this <clears throat> feel here. So again, to, just to reiterate, in Brad's feel here, I, once you're gonna go through your approach just normally, not focus on anything, but when that ball is at the top of the swing, on the way down, you're just gonna focus on that trying to hit that right knee. And the more you get it on the inside to hit that right knee, the more it has like a whiplash effect at the release, and it'll actually allow you to hook the ball better. So that's what I'm expecting. When, I, when I'm working on this drill, and I'm thinking of getting my elbow all the way in at the release, I'm thinking about playing pretty large angles and, uh, and playing a large hook, really. So that's, thankfully, that's where we're at. And uh, this time I'm gonna focus on those two things, but then the last thing, drive into the, the back of my leg. And it should allow me to open up the angles pretty good. I almost got two. <laughs> There's some juice out there today. <clears throat> There's some juice out there. But how did that feel as far as allowing you to get your body in a position and have a thought that I don't know, maybe isn't too overcomplicated, but get allowing you to stay on the inside of that yeah, ball. Yeah, I mean, what's one thing we, like, 
If you're gonna go in and you're gonna bowl for the first time or for the a millionth time, what's the easiest way to think about like targeting or your feel? I'm gonna look at a spot and I'm gonna throw it to it. And bowling's actually kind of the opposite. Your feel needs to be like in your body. So I wanna hit that mark down there at that way, but my feel is actually, I'm gonna think about hitting the back of my leg. And that's gonna allow you to create that ball motion you want. It's not just a C target, throw target. No, we have to kind of like control our body first. So the thought of getting the swing more into the back of my leg, that allowed me to not really overextend or overdo the follow through. It just got the ball into the right slot. Once the ball gets into the right slot, it, like we said, you, you have control, everything just kind of becomes easier. The, the follow through doesn't seem as intense. It doesn't seem like you have to force the follow through. Everything just kind of comes right in line. Yeah, you're gonna be able to create the proper ball motion, get your hand in there, have versatility in your wrist, but none of that is gonna be possible if you don't work the inside of the ball and keep that elbow in. All right, so those are some of the reasons why that we wanna keep the elbow in. As always, this is why Kyle and I love to bowl on the PBA Tour, is we get a, a bird's eye view of, okay, what's going on at the highest level? And we've seen every angle, every ball, every oil pattern, we've seen the best, and they're almost all coming from the inside part of the lane from all angles. So that's a great observation to have. It's why it's great to be around the best players in the world. And it's good for you to know and, uh, and to get those feels right uh, because it help your game a lot. Yeah, and, and just to reiterate a little bit, and you know, obviously in this video we talked about keeping the elbow in, but we use the three examples to connect parts of our body to what we're trying to feel. So when you're working on stuff at home, just try to focus on parts of your body and get those connected and it'll be a lot easier to relate you know if we just told you go throw a ball and just keep your elbow in well sometimes that's hard to feel but now if I have some other focal points of like oh if I keep my elbow under my armpit or oh if my elbow doesn't separate from my body or Correct. oh I can use my right knee to help me out guide this using these other parts trying to connect your mind to your body can really help you out so guys three tips there keeping your elbow in better release work on these at home again like subscribe check out our merch check out our membership check out all that stuff if you haven't already we love you guys or just continue watching the videos see ya